Welcome back to the journey of Team 27. I'm Scott Hall. Marshall faced another schedule change due to weather, this time getting too cold at night. So the herd took the field first on Saturday against East Tennessee State again. Now this time a walk-off was not going to be necessary. And on this day, in both games, as Marshall played Kennesaw State in game two, a new face came through with some big time hits. Haley Christopher, who is from Huntington and played high school softball for former MUSB catcher Allison Webb, transferred to Marshall for her senior season after smashing records at the University of Charleston on the Division II level. She left UC with a shelf full of awards and as the team's all-time leader in doubles with 38, home runs with 42, and driving in 154 runs in just three seasons. In fact, last year the Golden Eagles totaled 28 home runs and Haley hit 16 of them. Now the senior had been going through a rough start to the year as she was just 2 of 16 at the plate going into Saturday. But this time, when she got the chance to step up, her power was on full display for everyone to see and provided some more special moments along the journey of Team 27. Marshall stepped on the field Saturday with a rematch against the Bucks. After a long fight on Friday, leading to the Hurts walk-off, the first few innings of the second matchup looked to be headed in the same direction. After Marshall was shut out in the top of the first, the defense came out strong in the bottom of the frame. 2-1 pitch on the way, popped up in the infield, laying out for it, making the catch is Huerta. She'll turn and fire back to Harrell, and they will double up Helton. In the top of the second, Rachel Rousseau led off with an infield single, stole second, and then scored as Grace Chelleman's speed forced an ETSU error. Chelleman squares to bunt again, drops it down. That's going to be picked up from Grupp. Sidearm sling is going to get off the glove of Durbin, who's coming over to cover, and coming home to score is Rousseau. The Herd scored first. However, it took a couple more innings for Team 27 to really let the bats fly. Meanwhile, Defense and pitcher Ashley Blesson kept Marshall out front. In the top of the fourth, the offense started to get rolling. Allie Harrell was walked for the third time in a game and fifth total in the two contests with ETSU. Maya Stevenson joined Harrell on base with a free pass. So Harrell at first, one away. Stevenson at the play with a full count. Inside high, and Stevenson actually catches it in her elbow. And then Sage Pye ripped a single to right center to load the bases. Two batters later, with two away and the bases still loaded, head coach Megan Smith and company opted for a pinch hitter. Haley Christopher stepped up for her first plate appearance of the weekend and made it count. So Christopher will step back into the right-handed batter's box. 2-2 two -two count, two away. Bases loaded. Lifted up high and deep for left center field. Going back to the fence, look up and say goodbye. Haley Christopher with a grand slam. Her first home run in a Marshall uniform. Christopher gave the herd a 5-0 lead, and they never allowed ETSU the chance to get close as the defense kept making great plays. The Bucks did finally score one run in the bottom of the fifth. Kaylee Williamson then entered the circle and the Herd D continued its outstanding day. Next pitch from Williamson lifted up into shallow right field. Stevenson on the run, lays out, makes the catch and hangs on to it. The offense cranked it up again in the top of the sixth. Hart delivers the 1-1. Stevenson drives this over towards right center field. That's going to get behind Warren. Stevenson rounds first. She will stop in at second with a stand-up double. Parr looks in, Pye drives that into right field, should be a base hit, and it is. Nobody out top of the sixth inning, leading by four. Next pitch, Huerta lifts this one high over towards center field. Helton underneath, she'll make the catch. Stevenson takes off and will make it in safely at home. Sacrifice fly for Huerta. Christopher here, going to drive one over to left field. That'll drop in for a base hit. Christopher with her first career two-hit game in a thundering herd uniform. So at the plate, next pitch. Lifted up over towards right center field. That'll drop in for a base hit. Bases are loaded now. 
Birch drives it into the gap in right center field. Pye comes in to score. Christopher is coming around. Rousseau is being waved around. It is a three-run double. ETSU showed a little fight in the bottom of the sixth, but the defense kept on rolling and finished off the Bucks one inning early. Williamson delivers, driven up the middle. Williamson snags it, gets it over to Harrell for the double play. Grounder to short, where to has it. Gets it over to Harrell, and that is the final out of the inning and the final out of the game as well. Marshall gets the victory 9-1 over ETSU. Team 27 was feeling pretty good after a dominant win. However, more lessons were about to be learned at the expense of the loss column as Marshall took on the home team, the Kennesaw State Owls. The herd jumped out to an early lead as Haley Christopher continued her great day with a three-run blast in the top of the first. The Owls responded with two runs in the bottom of the inning. Marshall looked as if they could have a chance to possibly either stay or add to the lead with some great defense in the second for a 1-2-3 inning. However, Kennesaw State added two more runs in the third to take the lead. The herd pulled back out in front by one in the top of the fourth as Armani Brown played at Grace Chelman. Brown then stole second before Allie Harrell drove her home with a double. Kaylee Williamson entered the game in the fourth and sent the first two batters she faced back to the dugout with her 186th and 187th career strikeouts. However, Marshall again fell behind and only managed to score one more run in the sixth. The herd suffered its first loss of the weekend, yet there was the chance to bounce back on Sunday against Rhode Island and then a rematch with Kennesaw State. Marshall kept battling on the journey of Team 27.